Animal identification is an important management tool in livestock production and is essential for the success of any animal production enterprise. While there are many types of animal identification methods, in this presentation we'll be looking at the process of horn branding water buffalo. In the early life of these animals, it is important to apply an identification tag on the animal. For ruminants, the air tag is normally used. Whilst air tagging is normally used in large ruminants, at the calf stage, these air tags can be easily removed, lost or destroyed at the adult stage. Especially with water buffalo, as the animals tend to wallow in swampy water in an effort to regulate their temperature. The water buffalo, unlike other large ruminant animals, possess a very limited number of sweat glands. As such, this condition predisposes these animals to heat stress. The need to remove excess heat causes the animals to seek bodies of water to wallow in. The wallowing behavior of these animals will cause normal air tags to be lost or destroyed and this can compromise the management program of the herd. In light of this, a more durable alternate method of identification may be necessary to maintain the identity of each individual in the herd. In the early stages of development, from day old to three years, the horns of the water buffalo will not be developed enough to allow for this procedure. However, after four years or older, the horns may be large enough to allow for branding to be feasible. Hot branding the animal skin is a painful process and not recommended. However, horn branding, when performed properly, is relatively harmless and painless to the animal. Horn branding is a process of placing an identification mark, number, or name on the horn or horns of an animal for the purpose of distinguishing that animal from another member of the herd. This process can assist the farmer in the following. Identifying ownership, maintenance of pedigree information, indication of the age of the animal, and a symbol of the purpose for which the animal is to be kept on the farm. Equipment necessary for this procedure A crush or restraint and rope to restrain the animal The branding irons and a wooden stick or metal rod to brand the animal Heat resistant gloves A heating system to heat the branding irons an antiseptic spray. The process of branding. The farmer must first determine what identifying system he or she would like to use, be it symbol, numbers, or letters, or a combination of these. Acquire the branding irons and the heating system necessary to heat up the branding iron. Establish a system to restrain the animal to ensure that the branding process can be safely performed for the protection of the farmer and the animal being branded. Start the heating system and place the branding irons to be heated up. This should take 25 to 30 minutes before the brands are ready for use. Restrain the animal and ensure the body and head are immobilized. With the animal restrained, pay careful attention to the position of the brand number or letter ensuring it is in the right direction before applying the brand. Apply the brand on the broadest side of the horn and also on the area of the horn that can be clearly seen when facing the animal. Apply pressure to the brand branding iron to ensure the symbol or figure is clearly made. Ensure also the branding iron is not applied for a very long time. 15 to 20 seconds at a time may be sufficient. This is to ensure that the iron does not go too deep 
as this can injure the animal. Use a wooden stick or metal rod to remove any particles that may remain on the branded area ensuring the number or letter is clearly formed on the horn. The antiseptic spray can be used if any bleeding is observed after the pr branding process is done. The branding process may be repeated every three to four years as the brand will eventually fade over time.